Hello everyone and welcome back to a Frugal Tech channel. Now this here is probably the cheapest DIY arcade joystick that you can actually buy in the whole Europe. Now let me tell you why. First of all this has been uh, my project for the past few days. It uh, has been a, a really interesting one even if I made uh, some mistakes during the building process. But uh, as you can see it's still a bit dirty. You can see a little bit of uh, a pencil uh, pencil marks uh, and uh, also some scratches here and there because I had to use uh, a drill but uh, it doesn't matter I think uh, it's still okay so let's say something about uh, the cost of uh, the kit first of all there's the electronics I have both this uh, uh, kit of Amazon and it cost me 23 euros this uh, the kit's name was the XC source AC488 it consisted of a USB encoder and a USB cable that, uh, that you can see there uh, eight red big red buttons I've only used four of them because I wanted to make a Neo Geo controller two smaller buttons of the same color and this lever joystick which has uh, little red ball on top of it um, so um, to create this uh, joystick I have also used this junction box which uh, I have paid about uh, 6 euros at my local hardware store so I have paid 29 euros for the lot and I had to use uh, uh, my drill and uh, my glue gun to fix the electronics into place I have also used glue gun to fix uh, the controller lever into place resulting into a slightly bent lever because uh, I was uh, a bit uh, fed up of uh, you know trying to put the screws uh, correctly so the controller would have been uh, completely straight but anyway it still works so it's not a big deal um, so if you if you want to do this project you will um, you will need a drill maybe some drill bits as well because you will have to make these uh, these holes into the plastic I have used uh, the wooden uh, wooden drill bits uh, so um, I use these bits to create the holes into the plastic and also a hot glue gun to fix the electronics into place as you can see here I have made quite a mess on the USB cable I don't know if you can see it but it's not a very big problem so uh, I have also used this um, controller for in uh, some Neo Geo games I have uh, made a Meta Slug run and uh, uh, some other and I have played some other games as well and um, I can tell you that uh, if you're looking for a quality product, uh, this is not the right one for you because this kit is the cheapest, the really, the, the what can I say, the cheapest that you can actually buy in the whole continent, in the whole Europe. So you should expect uh, some minor problems. For example, this lever here, as you can see. It has to travel a little bit more upwards before the controller clicks and the uh, encoder detects that you, you want to go up. Also some of the buttons sometimes uh, get stuck but uh, it's uh, a bit, uh, it's, it's, a rare, uh, it's a rare event, especially this one if you do like that when you press it. And also sometimes the encoder, the encoder does not uh, seem to be very fast at uh, catching every input, especially when you're mashing every button just like that because, I don't know, you are uh, running a metal slug and then you have to jump while you're shooting and also you have to shoot a bomb and something like that. And uh, last but not least, well, this control is not really ergonomic, but... Uh, you don't really have uh, a lot of choice when you spend only 6 euros for the package so I mean, as you can see after a, a little while my hands uh, uh, are a little bit uh, you know uncomfortable with this setup 
But uh, apart from all this stuff, if you just want to build your first arcade uh, DIY controller and uh, you don't want to spend a lot of money or maybe you want to build something to play with your friends, maybe an, a very cheap arcade setup or something like that, it's a very nice uh, idea to buy this uh, XC Source uh, AC488 kit and uh, give it a try because uh, if you want you can switch the parts because the buttons here uh, have uh, connectors here that you can easily remove I let me oops let me give you a demonstration voila you can remove those connectors and uh, install other better buttons if you want to also the joystick has these five pin connectors that uh, I think is compatible with many other Sanwa parts and maybe uh, also some Seimitsu joysticks so if you want to change uh, a button or a lever or uh, just uh, a button or the lever just, uh, just broke you just have to find the replacement part and also uh, the encoder is not that bad because uh, as you can see here it has uh, a lot of room for many parts and it also works with the PlayStation 3 although I haven't tried it with uh, with a PS3 so I cannot actually tell you that I have actually tried uh, this joystick on a PS3 and it worked but uh, some people had and uh, they had no really they hadn't had uh, any big problem with the uh, with this uh, joystick running on a PS3, they just had to guess the button layout. So, uh, that was the XC Source AC488. Really interesting product if you really don't have a lot of money and want to build your first uh, uh, arcade stick. And this was the cheapest arcade stick in Europe. Now, I think that uh, I have said uh, everything that needed to be said. Uh, if you like this video, Put a like, subscribe to this channel, and as always, stay frugal, my dudes.